All right, so I'm going to talk in this video about how to learn a new language with music. Um, this was an idea I had recently just to practice different languages. Um, I listen to a lot of music and and I've always have, like ever since I was a kid, I was always kind of obsessed with finding new songs and new artists. And so I'm pretty good at finding new music and um, I thought I should just use that skill to uh, learn Spanish and some of the other languages I like to practice with. Um, and so this is the playlist I made and all these songs are the types of songs I would listen to usually. So they're like rap and pop and then uh, R&B, stuff like that. Um, the only songs I really knew in Spanish before this, um, this project that I've kind of been working on is like, like, you know, like the, the classics, like para bailar la vampa, do, 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 para bailar la vampa, the same as this. um, those songs. So, they're cool songs. I enjoy listening to those types of songs when they come on in my life, but um, they're not on my playlist. That's not the type of music I like to listen to usually. So um, I had the idea and this is the process I went through to create that playlist in Spanish. And in the process, I've really learned a lot of Spanish and um, had a lot of ideas for, oh, different, different context, stuff like that. So anyways, first of all, um, if you don't know the language that you're trying to learn at all, just come in here and type in whatever you want to search in the YouTube. Um, so if you're rapping Spanish, rapping Espanol. Um, you could also look up like most popular Argentine music. And you can look up that. So whatever you want to look up. Um, and now whatever you type up, you can just copy it here, but I like to actually go and type it over here because that forces me to memorize it. And um, it's just a little extra practice on the way. Um, and I, you, I find too, a lot of times when I'm doing something like this, it's, it's those little extra reps that really make a difference in the end. So here's a playlist. This is the top playlist that came up. It says it's on new music. So pause it here. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna come and open up this playlist um, pretty much every language that I've looked at, there's always some playlist like this that comes up with all, it says whatever the current year is, there's usually fire emojis. Um, I don't know who makes these playlists, but pretty much every language has them. You can see this, yeah, there's, there's millions of views just on this playlist. So, um, here's just a bunch of music. Um, I don't even know most of this and I've been looking at Spanish music for a while. And so I'll come in here, I'll play different ones. Um, I have YouTube Premium, which makes this easier. You can do it, obviously, with um, with the ads, but it's a lot faster just to skip through it with the Premium, and I like to skip through. Um, and so you can see I already like this song, but typically I go through, and just all the ones I like, I like. You know, if I like it, I just press the thumbs up, and I'll go through, and I skip through the song, so it might take me five, ten seconds per song. Um, and now I've been doing this for a while, and and usually I'm just listening to songs in English, but um, I really like music. So I can listen to a song for five or 10 seconds and just pick up on the melodies and the rhythms and know if it's something I'm gonna like. Um, when I used to listen to music and I was younger, I remember I would have to hear a song like probably 10, 20 times before I really knew if I liked it or not. Now I can just know in a fraction of uh, listening to it once. Um, if there's different people featured on the song, um, Trying to find an example of that here. Yeah, featuring. I might skip through and listen to it just to make sure I can uh, listen to all the people featured. So anyways, I go through and I like all the, the songs that I like. And then I go to my playlist, I open up my liked songs, and then I kind of comb back through, um, pick out the ones I like, and then I'll make a playlist, uh, which is en espanol. And I've made that over here on YouTube as well. So coming into Spotify, um, I use all the different platforms. I also have YouTube Music because it comes with the YouTube Premium. Um, I have Apple or uh, Amazon Music as well. And I've had iTunes slash Apple Music in the past. Um, I think they're all, they all kind of do the same things, but Spotify is my favorite one. Doesn't matter really which one it is. I'll come through and it, like this song, Cole House, that's one I really like. So um, I'll go there and go to song radio and I'll just start a song radio based on that song. 
Um, and then I'll listen through this the same way I listen to that YouTube playlist. Um, so I've been listening to the music in Spanish for a while and I've only come up with 82 songs. It seems like kind of a lot, but like this is, this is a project I've been working on. Um, and so these are my 83 favorite songs. And there's a lot of other songs that I've put on other playlists um, that are in Spanish as well that maybe didn't fit this, this sort of vibe that I'm going for. Um, but that's how it goes. And then with pretty much all of these music apps now, let me move this out of the way. Um, this is a cool song. But you can come here and you can uh, listen to the lyrics. I see the lyrics there. You can pull up the window. It works the same on your phone. Um, so you can just see and listen to the lyrics. Um, and so I like to just read these. You can pause it and play it so you can kind of absorb it a little more slowly. Um, there's different stages of learning the language. And the first is just kind of recognizing the words. So if like I, I've also do this a little bit for French, which I really don't speak at all other than like J. Sweet, Jacobi, <laughs> whatever. Um, so with that, I really have to pause it and it's, it's kind of like, I speak a little Spanish, a little English. So there's, you know, it's all, um, the Latin roots. So you can kind of pick up on some things and see how the, uh, the words are structured, but you can always just come back here to Google translate. Same thing as before. Um, and you can't even copy and paste on Spotify. If you wanted to, you could look up Colo Cal. That's the name of this song here, lyrics, um, and copy and paste from a different site, but como solo para quita el estrés, I would just look up here yes i don't know how to do accents so they actually conjugated this verb a little differently um but yeah so that's that's what that means in spanish and you can go and kind of figure it out and if you can't figure it out you can just translate it but i like to try to figure it out first um and yeah, that's, that's basically how I do it as I go. Um, and it's cool in the process of making these playlists, uh, there's certain words, certain phrases that just come up again and again, that, um, it's most interesting when they don't directly translate to anything that makes sense. Um, and then you kind of, it's, it's kind of a, a cultural phrase or whatever. Um, so anyways, I will include the, the link to this playlist on Spotify. I have basically an identical playlist on YouTube. There's a few songs that are different because they're available on only one platform or the other. Um, but I'll include those in the bio of this video. And um, yeah, and if, if I make, make a good playlist for other languages as well, I'll include those in separate videos. But this is how I've been practicing my Spanish lately. And I've really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot of Spanish and I've listen to a lot of good music in the process. Hope you guys enjoy.